Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Tuesday, April uh, 4th. Great to be with you. Hope you had a great Monday yesterday. Uh, we're entering into this Holy Week. Uh, again, we have those special worship services uh, um, on Monday, Thursday, Colors of, uh, of, of Grace uh, and uh, with, with the uh, cantata embedded in the worship service. Our very special choir will, will be a key part of the worship service uh, um, but we will have communion and, and all those things. We have very special service as well as Good Friday, where we look at the last words, recorded words of Jesus. It is finished from the eyes of those who are there and what that means and how it would apply to our lives. Today, we're going to continue to look uh, at uh, the Palm Sunday accounts. And, and yesterday, we, we began with a section in Matthew, but it goes on. And a lot of folks uh, forget that, right? Because it, it, it ended here. Uh, Jesus comes in, they say, Hosanna is the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. They entered Jerusalem. They, they were all stirred up. They said, who is this? Because he was all out in the open now, right? It's not hidden anymore. It's out in the open, just as it is with us. Who is this? Jesus wants us to ask that question and to receive him as the king of kings and lord of lords. And the crowds answered, this is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth and Galilee. And we think that's the end of the account, but it's not. That's, it goes on on what he did on that same day on Palm Sunday. All right, so, and this is pretty cool. Uh, let me open this up. Okay. Jesus entered the temple area and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. Uh, and so what's going on here? The, in the outer courts of the temple, that's where this took place. It's called the court of the Gentiles. And, um, there, there, there was kind of a, a sanctioned ripoff going on there. Uh, see, they, you would, of course, as, 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 as believers in, in the, the God of Israel, right, you would, make, you would make sacrifices. But you couldn't bring the animals with you from out of town, right, or, or, or from another country. And so, and, and you couldn't use um, money from the Roman Empire because it had the... Uh, insignia of Caesar on there, and they looked at that as idolatry, right? A, a graven image. And, and so they had to exchange money, all right? And they would charge them exorbitantly to exchange money. If you've ever been traveling, you have to exchange money. Uh, you know, it costs you, it costs you something to do that. Uh, and then they would charge them exorbitantly for the animals. And, and so here were these Gentiles who were becoming believers of Yahweh, uh, or even out of town Jews, right? And um, what were they learning about the uh, the faith that they tried to cling to? That they were a bunch of crooks. Uh, and Jesus says, "No, this ain't gonna fly. This is the court of the Gentiles. Um, they need to see that Yahweh is is the, the God of the Old Testament, right? The the God of grace. Um, that is finally." Uh, the promised Messiah that's going to come and find to his fruition in me. They need to see these things. And so, and so what he was doing here, uh, imagine this, he came and fulfilled uh, the prophecy at that, that he was the Messiah. You know, your king comes to you on a donkey. And at the same moment, the same day, he was establishing the point that he was for all people as he kicked the money changers out of the court of the Gentiles. Pretty cool stuff. And then, then it goes on here. The blind and the lame came to him at the temple and he healed them. So these folks that lived in shame, right, that, that were uh, dishonored by the, there must be something wrong with them. God must be out for them, right, to get them uh, because they must have sinned in some way. And these, and Jesus healed them. But when the chief priests and the chiefs of the law saw the wonderful things he did and the children shouting in the temple area, uh, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. So the children always loved Jesus, right? So they were shouting Hosanna to the son of David that you could just, it's like kids learning a song in church, right? It's, it's exciting. And, and they said, do you hear what these children are saying? They asked him. And Jesus said, yes, Jesus replied. Have you never read? And he again quotes from the Old Testament here, prophecy, from the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise. So in this small section, on Palm Sunday, he clears the temple. He's there for all people. This was called the, you know, this, this area of the Gentiles, where the Gentiles would go. He wanted them to know Yahweh's heart. Uh, the lame and, and the blind that, that were um, pushed away uh, uh, by, the, by the power brokers of the culture and the religious leaders, he embraced them. And children, he embraced their praise. So this king, 
that came in on Palm Sunday. He wanted it to be known that he was there for all people, Jews and Gentiles, uh, the lame and the blind and children, all those people that were devalued and that we tend to devalue at times. Huh? He's there for every single one of us. He's there for me. That's what that means. And he's there for you. W would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, on this Palm Sunday, when you wanted everybody to see what was going on, nothing was hidden anymore. You made it clear that you are here for all people, which means you are here for me. We pray, Lord, that your spirit might touch our hearts and strengthen our faith, or maybe touch our hearts with faith for the very first time. And then, Lord, help us to live in this reality that, that your love stretches to every person and help us to love each person as you love us. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.